What is up guys? Welcome back to The K. Thank you for being here. It really is an honor. If you're new here, like a lot of you are, fairly new to this YouTube channel, I appreciate you for coming here. We've been growing so fast. It's been so speedy. And thinking about speed, how fast can we shoot a bow? Speed isn't everything, but it's not nothing. Speed is something when shooting bows. And today we're gonna make a bow and see how fast we can make one of these Ipe bamboo back bows shoot. I think you're gonna like it, so let's get right into the bow build. Now most people prefer a comfortable shooting bow over a fast shooting bow and that's because if you have a fast shooting bow but you can't hit your target, what's the point? But on the other end of that as a bow maker, if I can make a comfortable shooting bow and I figure out a good design or some way or some kind of material to make it faster but it's still smooth shooting, now we've got the bonus. So that's kind of what we're going for. I'm not going for the ultimate fastest bow in the world right now. I'm using a reflex deflex style bow so that it's comfortable to shoot. At the same time, I want to make it fast. So how do we do that? Well, by combining these two awesome materials together is going to help a lot because bamboo is great on the back of the bow. Ipe is so hard and so dense, it's great on the belly of the bow. And to add to that, I'm going to make the limbs very thin and skinny to try to cut through the air as fast as possible. Also, I'm going to up the poundage a little bit to make a 60 pound bow instead of a 40 or 45 pound Bow, which I normally shoot. But I know speed's relative if you're using different arrow weights. So I'm gonna test this with a variety of different arrow weights so you can see exactly how many grains per pound this bow is shooting. And actually, if you don't know yet, I sell these just like this so you can finish the bow. I've got one, I've got these right here. They're awesome. If you wanna partner with me making a super fast bow, you can pick these up on my website and I make it customizable for you guys. So you can do an Ipe handle just like this or you can do a maple laminated Ipe handle, which looks sweet. And you can also decide if you want me to glue it up here or not. I do the same thing with the tip overlays. We got Ipe and we also got the laminated maple. You can customize all of these on your website. You can choose the exact length of bow, everything. I'll glue it all up for you if you want, or you can buy it plain like this if you're going for a cheaper option and you have the handle and the tip overlays yourself. So I figured I'll let you guys know that. KramerAmbs.com link below for these awesome super fast bow stays. I'd love to partner with you in making a bow. People have already been buying them even though I haven't announced it yet. So you're going to want to get in that order fast so that you don't have to wait a long time to get your bow. But for the bow today, we need to get it out of the heat box. We need to shape it up. We need to tiller it so we can see how fast this bow will shoot. So this bow is a little weaker than I planned. I planned on a 60 pound bow, ended at 55. That's all right. Here is how it looks at my draw length. I can almost hold that comfortably. I'm a little bit shaky. I haven't practiced with heavy bows yet, but I'm really liking it. Let's go shoot it.
attempt number one for 200 feet per second. All right, hold up for a second because I need to tell you how heavy this arrow is because arrow weight does matter hugely when it comes to speed. So this arrow is 352 grains and at a 55 pound bow, this comes out to 6.41 grains per pound. So this is a pretty light arrow as far as hunting goes. Target practice, this is normal, perfectly fine. You know, and the other thing when you're first shooting a bow that you've made, if you've ever made one before, it's kind of nerve-wracking, like you pull it back and even though you've drawn it on the Tillerian tree beyond what you're going to draw it here, you, you pull it back and you're still like one a short draw. So that's kind of what I did. Let's do this. I short draw it at 199. Let's get all the way back. Oh, in there. I'm gonna reset it. There we go. Two hundred feet per second. Let's get it. Two oh two, baby. I still think I can drop further. <laughs> Do you see that? One more. Okay, so we got 207, 208. I'm gonna go get a heavier arrow and see how much it slows it down. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and grabbed that same arrow and I put a new arrow point on it to bring it up to 375 grains to see how much less the speed would be with a 25 grain difference. This brings the grains per pound of draw weight up to 6.81. Game on, we're testing the 375 grain arrow. 202. Two oh one. Two hundred. All right, but that's not it. Let's jump up to a way heavier arrow and see how that does. We're gonna jump up. This arrow is 509 grains, which comes out to 9.25 grains per pound, which is, which is quite a bit. No target shooters are gonna use it like this. This is only probably a hunting setup. So check out how this performed. We got a new arrow. This one's just over 500 grains. Let's see if we can hit 200 feet per second with this. All right, game on. First try. 181. Now remember all of this testing was done with a reflex deflex bow and it was a long bow too. I could have shortened the bow and it's going to be even faster. I could make the tips flip more or recurve more. That's going to make the bow faster. I could probably get away with even skinnier limb tips. I could even make the limb tips more static so there's more bend in the middle. There's so many different things I could do to make a faster bow. But for this test, I wanted to see if I could break 200 with a comfortable shooting bow. Now in the future, we may just see if we can max out the fastest speed bow. But for now, I'm very pleased with how this turned out. If you want to make a bow just like this, I've done half the work for you. If you don't have a bandsaw, if you don't have a heat box, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on, on Bowyer's epoxy and things like that, I'll source all the materials. I'll glue it all up for you so that you can shape the handle, you can shape your knocking points, and you can also tiller your bow, but you made it. You made your own bow that shoots very, very, very well. If you want to get into bow making this, this would be a great opportunity for you, and you can customize it to the price range that works best for you. Here's an idea. Build one with a friend. Build a bow with your son. This is what my dad's doing with my younger brother. I think they're both going to build a bow together. That's going to be a really cool experience for them. And if you're not sure how to finish out a bow or like how would I finish out this bow well stick around because that's the next video I'm gonna show you guys how to finish out this bow blank I'll probably actually show you how to even glue it up beforehand too I'll do the whole entire process if you have the materials and the tools already man go ahead and build it yourself it's a blast to do the whole thing if not we can partner together and on that note thanks for watching this bow build thanks for being here on the YouTube channel you guys are awesome remember to stay positive and have an awesome day I'll see you on the next one